Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and uh, playing the Super NES version of Mortal Kombat, or at least I will be. I should have probably not started recording until I uh, got the ROM open, but whatever, whatever. So we're going to be playing Mortal Kombat on Super NES. Now this is the version I had as a kid. Of course I played the arcade one, and this is not as good as the Genesis one. Graphics are, let me up the volume a little bit here so you guys can hear it. And I can hear it too, which will be great. New way of doing videos. Um, I had this version as a game. It's not as good as the Genesis version. It has better graphics and sound. But um, I would say that it's. Um, the gameplay is, is kind of nerfed. And I'm not even talking about like the blood stuff because anybody, whenever they talk about. Issues with Super NES Mortal Kombat, they talk about blood. And really, I don't care about that. Let's play as uh, Sub Zero. It's just a low game in terms of volume, so. Alright, here we go. Let's see who's first Johnny Cage. So the gameplay is not really like the arcade one. I should do okay, because this is the version I played when I was a kid, so... Bam! Sub-Zero wins. Fality! I know the game audio is low, it's just it's a... The game is low, you know, I can't really explain why it's like that, but... Oh! Fuck you. There we go. Oh, I forget how to do his fatality, so or finishing bonus it's called in this. I, uh, it's different from the arcade one. And I didn't have the presence of mind to look up on the internet how to do it, so whatever, no big deal. He turns the guy into ice and then breaks him. Which I actually think is better than the classic spine rip fatality, even though the spine rip fatality is his classic fatality. I feel that... Um, the fact that he doesn't use his ice powers always bothered me. It's funny because most Sub-Zero fatalities... There's such lag on this compared to the arcade one. Most Sub-Zero fatalities from future games would utilize ice in one way or another. So, there's that too. I kick Kano's ass this time. Oh yeah. Oh, didn't... There we go. Fuck you. Sub Zero wins. Yay. Let me actually check my master volume here. There we go. Alright. Raiden. Ugh, the emulator spelled it wrong. No, it didn't. That's the way it was in the game. Not the arcade one, obviously, but. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. When you hit a character like that, their projectile would get canceled if you froze them, which really makes no sense, but there you have it, you know? Alright, he goes round two against Raiden, who has no face in this one. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he's kicking my ass. Come on. Ah. Oh, <laughs> missed. Uh, wins. Barely. Ah. Uh. Come on. Come on, I was awesome at this as a kid. There we go. Shit. Easier in the frickin' arcade one. Alright, who's next? Don't fuck with Sub Zero, bitch. Liu Kang! Who looks like a child in this? I don't know. Fuck you. The Super NES version was cool for one version. You could meet Reptile on it without waiting for something to fly in front of the moon. Obviously, that's not gonna happen because I got hit, but. 
you need a double flawless. Actually, if I lose the rounds, I can still bring it back, but I'm not trying to lose rounds here. So yeah, it's like better graphics, better sound, but you know, the actual gameplay didn't feel right, you know? Although, you know, to me it felt okay because it was the only version I had. But even I knew, you know, the arcade one it was better. And it's one fatality I don't have to look up. <laughs> the Bloodless Impalement by Sub-Zero and every other character that can do an uppercut. Might actually win this. This was the easiest version, in my opinion. Well, out of the ones I played, I had never played, like, the the 8-bit ones, which are coming up, you know. Oh, fuck you, Scorpion. You, you're a fucked up bitch. Uh, when in doubt, do that. There we go. Fuck you. So if you want to play the ultimate home version of Mortal Kombat, I don't know. The Genesis one has really tiny sprites, but it plays like Mortal Kombat, and it's quicker than this. This is a sluggish version. I guess you gotta get it for... Well, I mean, yeah, it's not even on PlayStation 2, because Midway Arcade Classics 2 had Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, but it didn't have Mortal Kombat 1, because I think the special edition of, like, Deception had 1 in it. All right, now I'm getting my ass kicked here. Shit. There's such a latency on the block in this, too. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. No, finish him. Oh, well. You know, that'll be it. I think the Game Boy one's coming up next, so uh, we'll see you guys then. You know, keep on trucking over there.